And two of the most controversial bills passed by Indiana lawmakers this session are still waiting on a signature from the governor. And he's coming up against a pretty big deadline tomorrow. Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Escow is live in the newsroom with where the governor's leaning. Well, Leah, those two bills we've been following very closely are the permitless carry proposal and the bill to ban transgender girls from playing girls' school sports. Now, if those bills don't get signed or vetoed by tomorrow night, they will automatically become law. Some Hoosiers making a last-minute attempt to convince Governor Eric Holcomb to veto a bill that would allow most Hoosiers age 18 and older to carry handguns without a permit. If he says that he's going to back the blue, then he has to back the blue all of the time. Opponents point out many law enforcement officials are against the measure. I worry for our law enforcement officers. I worry about the 6,000 people who were denied a permit in 2021. Governor Holcomb won't say what he plans to do with the bill. Supporters argue law-abiding Hoosiers shouldn't need a permit to carry a gun. It doesn't endanger citizens. It doesn't endanger law enforcement. And that's been the very clear experience of the 21 other states. Another controversial bill on Holcomb's desk bans transgender girls from playing girls' school sports. Advocates say it's about making sure girls can compete on a level playing field. A biological male today can participate in men's sports. The same will be true after this bill is in law. Many groups oppose the measure, arguing it unfairly targets transgender kids. I'd like to see the governor veto this bill because it's just flat out unconstitutional. It's dangerous for children. Um, it sets a dangerous precedent. Last month, Governor Eric Holcomb indicated he would support this kind of proposal, but he said he would read the bill first before making a decision. I agree adamantly that boys should be playing boys sports and girls should be playing girls sports and mixed sports should be just that. Now, there are four bills total that the governor has not yet signed or vetoed. One of those is a bill that would require the legislature's approval for the Hoosier Lottery to offer online games. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you. In addition to today's rally against the permitless carry bill, some are choosing to gather at the governor's home against the transports bill. We'll be there as this happens tonight. And we also put the information about these last bills and the ones already signed at fox59.com.